what makes Dragon Ball GT Vegeta better than Dragon Ball Super Vegeta? And I and I already made a video about this before. Number one, um, the accessions with Goku in GT Vegeta just gave up um, being obsessed for surpassing Kakarot or Goku in this case. But in Dragon Ball Super, Vegeta came back, being like, "Oh, I want to be stronger than than Kakarot again." Yada yada yada. Although Vegeta was sort of obsessed with Goku when Goku achieved Super Saiyan Four, he wasn't like as much as he used to. Not like that. <clears throat> yeah, but with Dragon Ball Super, Vegeta he acts almost like almost acts like his Android Saga counterpart. And that's bad writing. Number two. Um, train ability. Vegeta doesn't train as... In GT, Vegeta did not train as much as he used to during the Boo Saga. Yes, he got a lot stronger than what he was during the Boo Saga. But... Not as stronger than Goku. And yes, I know some people will attack me with, with this debate, but... Yeah, and with Vegeta, he just wants to catch up to Goku. In ever since battle, ever since um, Dragon Ball Super came, he wants to be stronger, stronger, stronger. You know, he wants to train, and yes, training's good. And yes, you know, according to by the guidebooks, the only characters that trained were are Goku and Vegeta and Piccolo, even. But still. It's still ridiculous. Number two. Vegeta it actually sort of achieved Super Saiyan 3. <clears throat> I know some people will be shocked about this. And some people may not also may not disagree. But when Baby took over Vegeta's body. Baby 2. That's what the, the fans call it. You could, you could make an argument that Baby Vegeta is like. Um, second, well, not second form, but his third form, or I guess you can call it, when he when he has that black outfit, you could even make an argument that he actually went Super Saiyan three. I know that it's debatable, really, but I kind of see the resemblance <clears throat> because, first of all, Baby Vegeta's transformation has no eyebrows in that transformation. Baby two does not have. Um, no eyebrow. So you can even make an argument that it's possibly Super Saiyan 3 or maybe a mutated Super Saiyan 3. A tuffle Super Saiyan 3 or Sephurian or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and obviously Vegeta didn't. But I know that yes, Super Saiyan 3 sucks and I don't even like the form. And it's a huge handicap. But still, Vegeta, you could... As I said, you can even make an argument that ba that Vegeta in Dragon Ball GT kind of did went Super Saiyan 3 when Baby took over his body. And, um... Overall, Dragon Ball GT... Ve uh, yeah, anyways. Overall, Dragon Ball GT's Vegeta... Like Goku, like GT Goku, Vegeta in Dragon Ball GT is even a better character than his Dragon Ball Super counterpart. Oh yeah, and another thing too, I almost forgot. The outfits. Yes, I do like the Android Saga outfit, but it's kind of getting annoying a little bit. I don't know why he wears that outfit, but it is what it is. But it feels like that Vegeta's not... Uh, the Saiyan Scholar actually made this video. Um, Vegeta, it feels like that, you know, that Vegeta is sort of like as an earthling now, an ally, instead of wearing his actual Saiyan armor. Yes, I know that it's classic and it's my favorite armor, but still it's getting old. I actually do like GT Vegeta's outfit a little, a lot. And also same with Boo Saga, Vegeta's outfit too. At the time, really, I didn't really like the outfit. But again, really, it, it it's it's a sign that he's a 
kind of a changed person because he's an, he's like an earthling, but he's a Saiyan, but he wears earthling clothing. Like, he doesn't want to wear, like, Saiyan armor anymore. Anyways, that's all f for now, at least. But still, Vegeta in Dragon Ball GT is better than his counterpart, and I would actually agree with this. I would agree. Because he's not as obsessed with Goku as much, and not to mention, he or he just gave up all automatically ever since the Buu saga like Vegeta's just a better character in Dragon Ball GT most of the GT characters are better than their super timeline counterparts and that's an actual fact 